everyone welcome in hopefully the nr festival is going well for you you got all your gems you got all your rewards from the missions that it gave you as well but today we're going to talk about synchrons um synchro summoning is possibly my favorite mechanic next to link summoning um, because both of those summonings feel the most fair to me you get like it, uh, they just feel really balanced to me both of those types of summonings because you're using materials on the field instead of in your hand or anything like that you're using field materials to generate some sort of field advantage or get the big units out there to me that feels fair also i love you say he's probably my favorite protagonist in the whole all of Yu-Gi-Oh anime and 5ds is probably up there it's if not my favorite it's tied for my favorite series so i love synchro summoning i love synchrons i love all of that so let's take a look so you want one jet synchron he's a good level one he can recycle himself from the graveyard if you need him Synchron Resonator is a good special summon from the hand. Um, you can special summon him, and if it's sent to the field from the graveyard, you could also pull a Resonator monster, which you're not really using, you're just using him for the level 1. Cyberverse Synchron is a really good synchro syn um, tuner monster. Um, he's able to, anything under level 4, he's able to double their level to make it so they can hit a requirement for a synchro summon, and he's also a level 1. And he also protects your synchro monster if he's in the graveyard. Your synchro monster that's in the extra monster zone, you can banish him from your graveyard to protect him from being destroyed. Floor synchron is really good as a level two. Um, you can, if he's sent as synchro material, you can always special summon from your hand another level two to keep your plays going. Three doppel warriors. Doppel warriors are very important to this deck. Um, one because if you spe you're doing a lot of special summoning from the graveyard with this deck. And as you're doing that, then you can pull Doppel Warrior if he's in your hand. You can put him on the field to extend your plays. And also, if he's used a Synchro Material, you can generate tokens to keep going. So, um, to keep your plays going and keep your hands going. I only won one Max C. It's not really... For me, Max C is probably the, the hand trap that I only play maybe at one or two in every deck. Um, I'd rather use the room for something else. I've only used it maybe once a game. Um, every now and then I don't use him as often as I use other synchros so I run him at or other hand traps I should say so I run him at one Caligula Claw Crow is really good if you have a dark monster say Junk Synchron on the field um, you can pull a, pull him out with a special summon and then combo into other plays so as you can see we're using a lot of things that you can special summon and keep the plays going and keep your extending going uh, Carrier gives you a another a normal summon so you can summon him then summon junk synchron use junk synchron's effect to pull something out of the graveyard onto the field and then you can really get your combos going and if you're synchro if you use a, a synchron monster as a synchro material you if he's still on the field you can generate tokens to again extend plays converter is probably one of the better one of the cards you need in this deck um Opening hand, you have them in opening hand, you have a tuner, say even you have Ash Blossom, she's a tuner. Um, you can discard him, um, the tuner, discard him, and then you can pull Junk Synchron, summon Junk Synchron from there, and then Junk Synchron then combos into summoning Converter back, and then you can begin your plays. And also he recycles a tuner from the graveyard. Um, Junk Synchron, the most important Synchro monster in this deck. Um, because when he's number one summoned, you can sub uh, summon a two or lower monster from your graveyard. So again, you want to get Converter into your graveyard early, then summon Synchron, normal summon him, and then he can bring out Converter, and you go into your combos from there. Farhan Ashtater, um, he's a tuner monster, and again, he's an extender, because you can when he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can summon a level 5. 3 Ash. Here's a card you don't really need in this deck. I keep him in because you can recycle him and having level 4s to hit like level 7 synchros, level 5 synchros, any kind of synchro, having a level 4 is really good. So if uh, Blackwing Zephyros is in your graveyard, you can send a face up card back to your hand. Especially if it's a special summonable card, it's not that bad. Um, send him back to your hand, special summon him. And you take 400 damage, but again, you're getting a level 4 on the field with decent stat lines if you need it. And you could also synchro him out immediately. Junk Converters, and, or Junk Servants, another one. If you have a Junk Monster on the field, you can special summon him. Again, level 4. 
um, keep your plays going. Special summon. We're looking at special summons to just keep extending plays and keep going. I run them at one. Ashtator Dawnwalker is the Fire Ant's counterpart. You can discard a card and then you can special summon him in defense position and then you can pull your Fire Ant from your hand or your deck and put him onto the field and then you have an instant level 8 synchro. So that's pretty much and the only like downside to this is that you can only special summon synchro monsters but this whole deck is based around synchro monsters so there's really no downside. I run him at 3 and that's all the monsters in this deck. Um, the back row is debatable. I always run pretty much the same back row in almost every deck, but I tune it up, de pun intended, I tune it up depending on what deck I'm running. One Raigeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster. This one, Monster Reborn, is very important because you can pull monsters out. You can pull your Synchro monsters back if you need to, back onto the field. Foolish Burial is very important for this deck as well because you can send something to the graveyard if you can't open with a level 2 like junk converter in hand you can then use foolish burial to start your combo plays reinforcements of the army is very important too because you can pull um basically junk synchron if you have to you can use this to pull him into your hand to start your plays tuning is also um i do think you need this at three i ran it at two it wasn't as consistent with three it's very consistent um you add a Synchron Tuner to your hand, and then you send the top card of your deck to your graveyard. Sometimes you get lucky it's a level 2 or lower. Um, sometimes you just use it to pull the Synchron, and also you can use this to bait out the Ash Blossoms. So if you open with something like Converter and this in hand, I would activate Tuning first. Usually they're going to Ash Blossom um, Tuning. Who cares? I can then use Junk Converter to go into my combos from there. Lightning Storm, again, you don't need this. You can play it if you want. Um, it's a good turn two starter if you have it turn two. If you don't want to play Lightning, I would run a two Twin Twisters then. Um, basically, you just discard a card and then destroy two Speller Traps on the field. Not bad. You can even send your level twos to the graveyard to be pulled in by Synchron. Called by the Grave is basically your hand trap counter. <laughs> um, run it at two. And then I run Solemn Judgment and Solemn Strike. Basically, some more trap negates, and that's pretty much the main deck. As you can see, it's pretty pricey. Um, but again, you do get, if you have the Synchro starter deck from the game, you do get three Junk Synchrons. So there's a little bit cheaper option. Um, again, the back row, you can change. You don't need to run Raigeki. You don't really need Feather Duster. I use them as help, and you don't need Lightning um, Storm, but... If you have them all the stronger, if not, then you can substitute what you would like for it. Going into the extra deck, um, just one Formio Synchron, one Celestial Double Star Shaman, um, one Martial Metal Mark Marcher. Um, this is really good. It's a because you can pull a tuner back from the graveyard with this, so really, really good. This card I don't think you really need, um, but I run it just because of you know, nostalgia and anime, and you get them for free, is Junk Warrior. You do need, I do believe you need TG Hyper Librarian. Um, they help you keep hand advantage every time you Synchro Summon, you get to draw a card. So you should always go into this either first with your first or second Synchro Summon. I would say second, because I will show you, I will tell you who you would go with first soon. I do think you need Excel Synchron, because he, when he's on the field, you can change his level and then make it so you can summon or Synchro during your opponent's turn to counter. Junk Speeder should be your first Synchro Summon. Um, he's very important to this deck. You need him in this deck. Um, he's another card that you need. Because he will then pull three tuners onto the field. And you can go from there into hyper combos. So if you can get if you can get him on the field, at least just him, you can, ev you can then go into something like Chaos Dragon. And then Chaos Dragon, hopefully you get a good draw off Chaos Dragon's effect. And then keep going. Or if you can have another level 2 special summon, you can go into him, then TG Hyper Librarian, and then cycle him out to draw a card, and then keep your plays going from there. But again, Junk Speeder needs to be in this deck, and if all possible, he needs to be your first Synchro Summon. Sardis Charge Warrior is not necessary, but he's a cheap card, and he's also can give you to a level 6, and he could also draw you a card. So when he's Synchro Summon, you could draw a card, so it's a nice way to keep your hands going, um, keep your plays going. You don't need Samurai Destroyer. 
but I had him, I threw him in this deck. You can use any other level seven here. Um, you could use, you know, pretty much any other level seven works in this spot, but I use him just to stop effect monsters. Shooting Star Riser Dragon is again, he's very much like Excel Synchron is that he can um, tune himself to whatever level you need it to then Synchro Summon. Crystal Ring Synchro Dragon is the most important, one of the most important Synchro Monsters because he's a negate. He's an effect monster negate, so um, once per turn when a monster effect is activated you can negate it, destroy that monster, and then gain the attack of that monster. So really really good Synchro Monster at all costs, Should this needs to be in the deck. Chaos Roller doesn't need to be in this deck, but I highly recommend him in this deck because of his ability to basically turn into a level 9 synchro and then put himself back on the field with his ability from the graveyard so i highly highly recommend this for the deck hot red dragon archfiend abyss is another very very important monster he's a omni negate once per turn omni negate you can negate any card on the field with his ability once per turn um uh, so yeah de definitely necessary and i would put him in so if anything, I would go into Chaos Dragon, then tune Chaos Dragon into Archfiend, and then use Chaos Dragon's ability to pull him back on the field. Um, but yeah, so you should always then go aim for a field at the end of your turn. You should always aim to have Crystal Wing and Hot Red Dragon Archfiend on the field. Satellite Warrior is your game ender. You then turn Archfiend when you have enough Synchro Monsters in the graveyard. You turn Archfiend into Satellite Warrior. Satellite Warrior then destroys the whole opponent's side of the field, gains 1,000 attack for every card he destroys, and swings for game. You'll see that in a couple of the games, but yeah, this is what you should aim for for your game ender if it, you can't end it on a first turn kill. And then Shooting Quasar is another um, card that you don't have to put in here. I put him in here again for Nostalgia, um, and is also a negate, and then if you have a, a shooting star in the deck you can use them to special summon sh shooting star so yeah that's the deck again the cards i think you need um most importantly that you need that are expensive are junk speeder tg hyper librarian um clearing synchro chaos dragon and heart arch um hot red dragon arch fiend so i think you need those especially but you also need stuff like uh, martial metal and stuff to keep your plays going and extend into it so yeah that's the deck guys it's a very very fun play um, I've been playing it this has gone once I hit platinum this has gone 22 and 2 in platinum or somewhere around there I lost track um, very consistent you can play out of a lot of hand traps you can play out of a lot of games as you'll see that in the games coming forward um, you can play out of it and it's very very fun um, yeah, so that's the deck. Um, I'm going to show you some games. I'm not going to commentate on the games, um, but please pay attention to the combos because if you mess up a combo on this deck, it's not the end of the world, but it could end your turn and then basically end the game if you don't play it correctly. So yeah, thank you guys so much um, and check out the games and I'll talk to you guys later.
all right thank you guys for tuning in um really appreciate all the support on this video you guys just like and subscribe um also check out my other content i have more master duel content in my channel and also check out the tepin content as well again thank you guys for stopping by leave some comments like and subscribe have a good one